Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for another wonderful morning. We thank God for the beautiful singing that we have heard. Uh, we thank God for the brass that gave us uh, the instrumental wherever he leads. Then we had a duet. I've got one God. And the choir which just gave us burdens are lifted on Calvary. We thank God that the Lord is lifting burdens. It's now time for congregational singing. And we will uh, ask Brother Tinomaeza to lead us in congregational singing. Brother Tinomaeza, I God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A good morning to you. We shall start our service on hymn 216 from our yellow hymn books. Esa and Leni Somusa. With my Savior ever near to guide me. Ngom sindi so namila impini ni atli a safe place in the hollow of his hands. Let's proceed to him 49. Shall we gather in the key of E flat? Runesimbano 
Brother Neva to lead us in prayer. Mariba Bangu, Mariba Kumana, Mariba Mti. Tuna kutenda ni mangu na na kana kama tini tuna kutunga ni sisi ni tawa. Tuna kutenda tuna kunga ni tapa sina. Tuna kutenda i shawangu ni kutimuri paka tipele. Kutanga kumusanga na taka kumaba sana makuru ya nyama uchi tuwa ni mburi tena Jesus Christ umpone siwedu. Pone sa i shawangu maru aruna kupone swa. Mwana tuwa nuru hara i shawangu. Simbaru kupore sa ri ripa muri. Tino imba ni mimari. Bati na ishi wangu pa musanga nunu wacha. Wanu chakazu, wanu chakangu wa azu wane. Mbrigiza ni kutimuri pa katipedu. Tino kutenda ino kutimuno gona. Saka tawe ya mberipe njine kutenda. Tino ziwa ishi wangu rizose suni itu kanemi. Mbrino kuzungazwe kwa muri kutu. Jesu Christi mpune suti. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to thank God uh, for another wonderful time that he has given us this morning. We welcome you to this morning Bible teaching service. We continue to welcome those that are arriving to the care meeting. Uh, including those from our surrounding areas. Uh, 
We are the Apostolic Faith Church of Portland, Oregon. Tribe Apostolic Faith Church of Portland, Oregon. We are uh, having our annual youth camp meeting. If you happen to live nearby, we would uh, love to have you joining us. Uh, this is time for announcements. We continue to urge one another to uh, keep this place in a safe way. To keep it with reverence. Knowing that this is uh, the house of God. Let us value the time of prayer. For it is out of prayer that we get blessings. We thank God for the blessings that God is giving us. If you receive a blessing, you can register your blessing with the deacons or with our reception. And we encourage you to testify during the time of testimonies. After every service, uh, we have got an outer call. So take advantage of that time. And if you happen to be sick, after the service, you come and take the chairs up here. And the ministers will be praying for you. Uh, we thank God for these announcements. We will have our next service in the afternoon at 2 p.m. Uh, after these announcements, we we'll have another congregational song. Uh, and after that, we we'll allow time for three testimonies. Uh, two minutes each. Then we we'll have uh, a special song that will lead us to the word of God. May the Lord bless you. Let's open our Shona books to him, Peti, Changa Mirem Ponisi. What a friend we have in Jesus in the key of F. Changa mire muponi si ishe wa kambozi tuwa neji wato jako tenzi kwa kwa niswa kupona changa mire mambo je. Hallelujah. Levante para agradecer a Deus que me fez chegar até neste local. 
Não é pela minha força nem pela sabedoria, mas sim é pela graça a Deus. I want to thank God for what he has done for me. It's not by might nor by power, but it's just the grace of God. Quero agradecer a Deus por me fazer conhecer esse evangelho. I want to thank God because he brought me to know this gospel. Uh, quero agradecer a Deus quando cheguei nesse evangelho, ouvi a pregação de novo nascimento. Uh, when I came to the gospel, I sought for a new birth or salvation. E pedi a Deus para me nascer de novo e ele fez. I asked God to save me and he saved me. Não parei por aí, pedi a santificação. Um, after that, I sought after sanctification. E Deus me santificou. And God sanctified me. Quero agradecer a Deus por me dar uma família. I want to thank God for what he, he does for my family. E quero agradecer por cuidar da mesma família. Um, I want to thank him for all um, that he has done for Obrigado for the family and I thank you. Aleluia. Eu também levantei a agradecer a Deus. I also stood up to thank God. Pois ele é maravilhoso para mim. Because he is wonderful for me. Ele fez maravilhas em minha vida. He has done a lot of miracles in my life. Eu nasci no evangelho. I grew up in this gospel. Eu já, já tinha habituado a ouvir assim de novo nascimento. But uh, I had not uh, received salvation. Eu já para mim o novo nascimento, assim de novo nascimento já era música para mim. It, it was just like music to me, the issue of uh, being born again. Pois um dia ele reservou um momento para mim. Um, because almost every day it was uh, uh, just a talk. Ele, quando eu fui na conferência, eu nem tinha a esperança de ir naquela conferência, mas meu pai tinha que organizar dinheiro para ir na conferência. I remember coming for this camp meeting. I didn't have anything uh, on my for my trip, but I thank God my parents provided. Pois quando eu cheguei na conferência, ouvi uma pregação que dizia Lembra-te do seu Criador enquanto ainda és jovem. Um, when I came here, I heard about the messages of salvation, and I want to thank God for all the teachings that we have received. Pois eu pedi a Deus, Deus, eu peço que você me nasça de novo. Não posso gastar dinheiro de meu pai e vir para aqui, depois voltar a ser nada. Uh, I said to myself, why would I waste my father's monies uh, coming all the way to Zimbabwe here? and then go back empty-handed. When I asked God to save me, he saved me. When I sought for sanctification, he sanctified me. Amen. I want to thank God for this wonderful camp meeting. My faith was like going off. Uh, it was dwindling. But I want to thank God. I have been revived so much. For this, for this oh, that he has done, God is so wonderful to me. This is what I want to thank God for. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, greet you all in the name of Jesus. Uh, I realized that I wouldn't do myself a favor if I don't testify. I realized that I wouldn't do myself a favor if I don't testify. Uh, firstly, I like to thank God uh, for growing up in a in a Christian home. Though I was taught to pray and trust in God and everything, but I, I also had to seek God for myself. I thank God that when I sought him, he saved me. 
And he sanctified me. And I thank God who's been keeping me ever since. Uh, this year has been quite a, not an easy year. As my pursuit for my career has uh, come to a, a, a pause. As my pursuit for my career has come to a pause. Uh, when I was this year started, I was very down and school, it was so tough on me, but I have to thank God. Like, I like to thank God because even though it was like that, I saw the peace in him and the joy in him and trust in him. And the joy in him and trusting in him. Asi kunyange shwa shaka wama kudaro ndi noda ungo tenda mwari ni kuda komfaro wano isa mkati mangu runyara rupo wano isa mkati mangu. Even though I didn't have any money I saw myself attending revivals and came meetings even this one I never thought I would attend. Kunyange nanga ndi sina mwari but nda ingo ona ndi chinda kumisangano kumarifa ufuserere kunyange msangano unu mwari ndi tende la kutinde shikewo. And I really like to thank God for the spirit of God that is in this place. Uh, I've been experiencing blessings and I really like to thank God. My prayer is that I go all the way with him and meet him at the end. And not tender Mary, no Dakomia Uripakat Pedu, Pam Sangano Uno, in the Shuirabuti, and Diram Ben Shivan Lutzika, not tender Mary. Thank you. 
let's take our Bibles. This morning, by the grace of God, we are reading Hosiah chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 and verse 2. Chapter 6, verse 1 and verse 2. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. We are it is okay, Rekuna Jehovah. No good work of Bambura, as Uchati Potage, Waka Rova, as Uchati Sungaje, Pakakuara. Kana mazuwa maviri apera uchatirara misa. Nezuwa rechita atu uchatimuta aje. Tirara mepambiri pake. Uh, let's turn to the book of Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. We shall read verse 1 and verse 2 again. And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Uh, let's end there. Jino waka wawuza mfana nizo wakuti wano fanira kunyengetera nguwa zose wasingara shimoyo. By the grace of God, we are talking about prevailing prayer. Nenyasha zamari tirukuta urapa msorope mnama ato unokunda um, Osaya encouraged us to come back again unto God. Even though we are battered, even though we are troubled, even though we have been uh, exposed to whatever dangers, whatever challenges upon our lives, he is saying, let us come again unto the Lord. And he will heal us. Jisi nei ne matambu ziko makuru atinga da ita sangana nao ne na mozino zazi chiti tambu zane kuruguisko patati na ago arikuti ngati zokere kuna Jehovah uchati poresa. Many times we find challenges upon our lives because of drawing ourselves away from God. When we try to run away from God, many challenges come upon our lives. Why? Because there is no life outside of God. So, life will be full of challenges beyond your comprehension, beyond your ability to solve. The teaching is going to encourage us to come back to God. And call on him and prevail in our prayers. Um, looking through the Webster dictionary just to find the word prevail. It's synonymous with hold out or hold up to keep up. And last longer. 
And looking again for the word prayer. Prayer is a petition. Either in form of a plea or you are pleading, you are soliciting, you are supplicating or you are appealing. You will be communicating with God. And God communicates back to you through his word. So we find prayer is man's legal authority to invoke God's influence upon our lives. Every one of us, we have an opportunity and we have the mandate coming from God. We have an opportunity to take up that mandate and execute it. We have the privilege that God has given us to come to him in prayer and ask whatsoever we want. Prayer is not an option. But it is a platform that God has created for human beings to get in touch with him. So prayer is vital. It is very necessary to you and me. God said in Jeremiah chapter 33, 33 verse 3, call unto me and I will answer thee. It goes on further to say, I will show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. So, we have a legal platform to come to God and ask whatsoever we want in accordance with his word. We find that prayer is not a hit or miss proposition. But God is saying, call unto me, and I will answer thee. So, in all our prayers, let's aim to prevail. Let's aim to prevail. God has given us the platform to call. God has mandated us to pray unto him and he will answer us. May God help us. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 and 12. Prophita Isaiah 55 verse 11. Dizo zichaita shokorangu rinobuda mumuro mwamangu. Haringa zokere kwa ndiri risina. Asirichaita zandinoda. Richiendeka.
pane zvandakare tumira nokuti so, muchabuda nemufaro nokufambiswa norugare makomo nezvikomo zvichaimba nomufaro pamberi penyu miti yose yokudondo ichavuchira may god help us maringati batsire so shall my word that be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing where to i sent it considering what god has said in his word kana tichirangarira zvakataurwa namwari mushoko rake he has given us a word akati pashoko that has to prosper rinofanira kuita zvakariraira prosperity kubudirira in prayers pamunyengetero that prevailing do kukunda so we also read in James chapter 5 where we uh, see Elijah who was a man of like passions as we are he called unto God and God responded to his prayers kuna Jacob chapter 5 Tinoverenga pamsoro pa area akanga ari munhu akafanana nesu akanyengeterera akakunda we read further to understand that it is by prayer that is effective and effectual which is fervent that will bring results that are tangible upon our lives e kuti tinzwise zvakare tikawerenga ipapo tinoona kuti kunyengetera kwemunhu anoramba achinyengetera aine kutenda kune munhu wacho akarurama kune simba kunounza minduro pa upenyu wedu so we want to clear the dust tinoda kubvisa huruva if you pray kana ukanamata your life congested by sin upenyu wako wakamanikidzwa nezvivi the only prayer that god can hear munyengetero wega mwari wanganzwa is where you are seeking god to save you we unenge uri munyengetero wako uchitsvaga kuti mwari akuponese may god help us mwari ngati batsire Uh, this is a youth teaching we are free to respond by saying amen to the word of god chidzidzo chiri kupiwa kuvatsva saka tinotarisirwa kuti tite amen kushokora mwari i want to encourage you saying amen ndiroda kukurudzira kuti muti amen an amen you know what it does amen munozi yakuti anoitei it reawakens anomutsa it reinvigorates ano pasimba your faith and my faith kutenda kwako nekutenda kwangu you know when you respond correspondingly to the word of god ukange uchidaira uchifambidzana neshoko ramwari you know the effect of amen to the word of god no. it it brings down the responses it brings down answers kana catches the eye of god kana uchite amen zvinounza minduro zvinobata meso a jehova god is speaking to us through his word mwari ari kutaura nesu kuburikidza neshoko rake and just like we respond when a hallelujah is shouted Obviously and in many instances we respond by amen. So I may not say hallelujah often times but I will speak the word of God. 
Ningatadza hangu kuramba nchiti hallelujah hallelujah ndizvakadaro asi ndiri kutaura shoko ramwari and all the same it requires your amen saka izvo zvorinodawo amen wako that's a participatory approach ndo zvinoratidza kuti tiri kufambidzana may god help us mwari ngati train zvakanaka understanding that uh, prayer is a requirement kana tikanzvisisa kuti munamato itsvakiko we will use every opportunity that comes our way to sink ourselves to give ourselves more time to feed our souls with this opportunity that god has given us sinking more and more in prayer Tichashandisa mkana umwe na umwe watinge tapiwa Tichizipinza neku zinyuza neku zinyuza misa mumu na mato You can be praying whilst listening to the word of God Unogo na kunyenge tera ujiterera shokora mwari And answers will come down your way Minduro ziwe kwa uri Before you even come to the altars to pray Usatu watu mboya pachifugamo kunyengetera As a formality Apa unozo mboya hako wakuto zazisa So you can pray along As the sermon is going Unoko na kunyengetera woga shumilo itipuri ramberi May God help us Maringati batisire Prayer draws power from God Na mato unotora simba kubakuna mwari It draws power God's grace upon our lives. Unodzikisa nyasha zamari pa upenyu wedu. It also gives us the confidence to stand before him. Unotipa gunya nekusa achika kumira pamberi pake. So it is a wonderful time of meeting with God. Inguwa inoshamisa yekusangana na mwari. Knowing fully well that God is faithful and he will answer every prayer tichiziva hedu kuti mwari wakatendeka uye uchapindura muna mato upi ne upi lacking such an understanding deprives us a lot kushai waziwo iyoyo kunoti ita kutitira skiru wenezi jinji that lack of understanding is usually responsible for defeated life Kushai wakunzwisisa ndiko kuno konzera kuti vanhu vararame hupenyu hwekukundwa it is also responsible for directionless and developed lives full of confusion powerlessness and unfruitful in all aspects Kushai wazvibereko kushai wakungo kuane hupenyu husina kwa wakananga so we want to come out of all these uh, these challenges that may come upon us by lack of understanding the value of prayer as a youth semutsa we must determine to live overcoming lives. Chinofanira kuzisunga kurarama upenyu wekukunda. We must determine to live lives that have got direction. Chinofanira kuzisunga kurarama upenyu unesha wakananga. We must determine to be developed spiritually, physically, all aspects of life. Chinofanira kushinga irira kuvandu za upenyu wedu pangwea. So we should use this opportunity to draw virtue from God, to draw power from God upon our lives because God is faithful. He will answer every prayer that you earnestly render before him. Poor spiritual progress. Kusafura mberi pangwea. Kana kusafura pangwea. 
it's a setting that we can accept upon our lives by choice. But God has given us a privilege As to call unto him and him he responds correspondingly. Prayer is effective. Prayer is efficient. In our lives, when we come to God, shunning every appearance of evil as we have had from the uh, uh, previous sermons. When you are before God, when you are smart, let me use this word, when you are smart, when you are clean before God, when you have a conscience that is void of any offense, God answers your prayers. Kana waka chena pamberi pake, une hana yaka chena pamberi pamwari, mwari ano pindura mnamato yako. May God help us. Let's read Hebrews chapter 7. For those who have not yet been saved, I urge you this morning, put aside all the calls that you have rendered before God and start afresh. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Verse 25. Na izozo une simba roku ponesa kwazo kwazo avo vanosuke dera kuna marina ye zanora rama noku singa peri kute ava reverere. This is Jesus Christ. Di Jesu Christu. The only mediator whom God has given to mankind. When we come to God through him, it's sure, it's certain that we are going to receive our answers from the prayers that we render to him. The scripture says, Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost, them that come to God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. So, in your prayers, God has given us a mediator who, who takes our prayers in the shallowness of prayer, in the shallowness of vocabulary, in our lack of understanding and everything associated with that. He just brings everything to God and offers our prayers Though they are feeble, whatever, though they are not worthy, but he brings them up together and gives them to God on our behalf. Pakusha yuwa simba kwedu ne kutadza kuna mata kwedu. Ia no tora minyenge tero yedu o ishita pamberi pamwari. He is more than or is far it's far exceeding in terms of results. The outcome, he is more than able to save them to the uttermost. That's the extreme end of salvation that you and I can attain to. May God help us. Reading from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. It reads, 
Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit him itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Here, it shows that God is ready to help us. Don't worry about the vocabulary that you can come up with when you are coming to pray. Don't worry about how you are going to present your petitions. Because the Holy Spirit is here for that purpose to make intercession on your behalf. Because us as human beings, we know not how to order our prayers. But God himself he is going to do it on our behalf. What we have is just to bring what we, our, our burdens, casting all our cares before him. That's why the scripture said, Elijah was a man of like passions as we are, but he prayed to God earnestly. He called to God, and God answered him. And we learn that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much when we come to God in such a manner. Just concentrate on your righteousness before God. E tinonzwa kuti Eliya wakanga ari munhu wakafanana nesu pautera wedu asi wakanyengetera mwari wakampindura tinonzwa kuti kunyengetera kwemunhu wakarurama kune simba guru pakubata kwako iwe chingozvimisira kuti uwe munhu wakarurama bedzi. James chapter 5 speaks to that. Izvozvo zviri kuna Jacobo chapter 5. Um if we're reading James chapter 5, it talks about uh, the aspect when someone is sick and they want God's intervention upon their lives. I'll read the scriptures from verse 13 up to 15. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry, let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them anoint um, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Verse 15. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven. Uh, verse 16, the last part. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. This gives us that no matter the problem that you have, no matter the challenge that you have, when you come to God and pray to him, whether young or old, whether men or women, God answers prayers. We have a lot of precedences that we read um, when we go through the, the Bible. When we consider the, the uh, special song that was given here, 
it spoke about Daniel praying to God. Uh, fully aware that uh, the, the authorities in Babylon had put a seal to say anyone who shall worship to any other god save the idol that was um, made and put in the in the in the plain anyone who would call to any other god was going to be cast into the um, in the den of lions noziva daniel aitoziva kuti mambo akanga ataura kuti munhu uchanamata kuna mwari upi ne upi asiri chifananidzo cha akanga aisa pabani achakandwa mudangare shumba he proceeded on to pray akapfurira mbere akanyengetera as he was doing sezva aisiita in the morning mangwanani in the afternoon masikati and in the evening nemaneru those who had uh, conspired upon his life avo vakanga varangana zvakaipa pamusoro pehupenyu hake knowing fully well that daniel was a righteous man vachiziva zvakazara kuti daniel vakanga ari munhu wakarurama they knew that the only trick was to uh, get hold of him with regards to his prayer life vaitozi vauti patingango mbatira chete I, I don't know how you are known in the community. I don't know by what exercise you are known wherever you stay in at your school, maybe at college, maybe at home. I don't know what makes you familiar to people. And is but Daniel was known for his prayer. Daniel waizikanwa kuti anonamata. We can take a leaf from this young man because he called unto God who doesn't despise the prayers of the righteous. Tinogona kukopera kwaari nekuti akadana kuna mwari vasingazvidzi minyengetero yevakarurama. And God answered him. Mwari akampindura. You know? When you are, it was time for him to be cast into the lion's den. He did not shiver, he did not run away. All we hear is he went there. But what we understand from the songs of the veterans, the old people, they say, in vernacular. The den of lion was turned into a church. My brother, my sister. It could not be any anything whatsoever, you know justification he would give upon his life to defend himself. No, it was nothing that was going to help him except his prayer life. Apana chimwe chae gona kumuru wira kana mangu masho kwa hae gona kutaura kunze kwe upenyu wake we mna mato. Daniel was determined to call upon God. Daniel wakango waka zimisira kudana kuna mwari he prayed to God fervently, faced with uh, difficult situations which could not be comprehended, you know, by any other means. His prayers delivered him from the lion. We have circumstances that can resemble the life and the 
difficulties that Daniel was faced with, we can have. I want to believe that every one of us, we have challenges. If you don't have challenges, probably you wouldn't be here. But because we have challenges, left, right, and center, we can call unto God, and God will answer us. It may not be as miraculous as it happened to Daniel when he was delivered from lions, but you and I, we have our lions. Because we have lions standing before us. It could take the form of economic, social, it could be the physical aspects of life. We are, especially in this country, we are bedeviled by a lot of challenges. Youths have no jobs. That is your lion standing before you. Probably you have sicknesses whatsoever, you know. You can call unto God. And he will deliver you from your lion. May God help us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Daniel did not resort to anything else but prayer. And God answered his prayers. May God help us. Let's go to Jeremiah 29. Verse 11 and verse 12. Verse 11. No good in Dino Ziva and Angariro Zandino Angarira from Soro Penu. This was not our Jehovah. Yes, Dangaro Zerugare. This at the Ziri Zakaipa. Put in the good pay Mugumo Unetariro. Vessel Muchada na Quandiri Muchando Nyengetera Quandiri. Nindi Chakun Twai, Verse eighteen. Muchandi Chaka, Mukandiwana, Kana Muchindi Chaka, no moyo when you all say. For us to be here, God has got good plans for us. Isu Mari Une, Shakanaka, Shakati Chengetera. As a youth, God has got good plans for you. Mari Anepungwa, Shakanaka, Pamsoro Pako, Semucha. But you can only realize all those good plans when you come to him in prayer. God wants to give you an expected end. When you look back and say, this is what I am. It is because of God. God has brought me this far. You know, you, 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 you would want to celebrate life that God has given you. You would want to see yourself achieving. You would want to see yourself developing. You would want to see yourself growing up in knowing God. You want to see yourself achieving a lot in the Lord, but it's upon you and I when we kneel down. Are we up to business or we are just here for nothing? Mwari, ano da ukupama gumo e anetariro, e kutu wa shika kumperi, unotarisa shure, uchuona kwa wabisi kwa na mwari, 
uchiona kuti mwari akuwaka mwari akukudza mwari akuitira zvakanaka asi zvinongoitika beds kana uchiti wapfugama unorevesa wakazvimisira pamberi pamwari let me tell you regandi kudze by mere observation i'm human i'm canal I, I, I have uh, shortcomings that maybe I may have in my uh, assessment. But I have observed probably five minutes after the sermon. All, if not half of this house, will be out there talking to one another. That's my observation. When I got an opportunity to rise before prayer, uh, before my normal time of prayer, because of other commitments that I had. And I observed a lot of youths out there talking lackadaisically, you know, speaking to one another, holding hands, moving about, and so forth. But, you know, this house has been given us as a prayer platform. This house has been meant for our development spiritually. Mm -hmm. This house is where we can draw power from God upon our lives. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, your friend that you cherish so much, your friend that you love so much, if they give you a $10, probably you value it, but let me tell you, it's nothing compared to what God wants to give you at this place. Munoona ndika wana mkana wegu chimbiza kumuka pa mna matu ndinoona wanu wanengu wakato sununguka zao wachitaura wachidi nangisa imba ino itaka ipi wakuti iwe imba yiku na mata iwe imba yiku sangana na mwari iwe njimbo yiku kura nekutora zinu jekuti mwea yedu ikure uno zivasha mwari yako ya ono buda wachindo taura nayo kana aka kupa ten dollars unga ikoshesa your friend probably can give you some kind of a gift. Whatever. Your friend can tell you stories that are nice, that appetize your flesh. You, know? you can enjoy talking to each other. But let me tell you, you are depriving yourself of the best gifts that God can offer you at this present camp meeting. I don't think anyone would want to go empty-handed. Considering all the circumstances that are surrounding you, the challenges that are surrounding you at your college, in your home, probably you are looking now, I want to get married. You can't present yourself to boys and they will pick you all of a sudden. No, you can't. Definitely not. You can't show yourself up to the extent of appeasing them or maybe making them to, to, to like you more than God, the way God loves you. Unoziwa, chichitari sa jimiro za kasi ya na si ya na za tinondo pinda majiri. Chimiro chiriku college kwa ono ziza, chimiro chiriku mba kwenyu. Jichida umu ato shika panjubo yuki nda hakuda kundoro oru wa inini. Aongangu enda uchindo ati wanu ndi one mdi rore, ndi one mdi rore, uchi zirati za kune wanu. Wopo watu wa faza. Izo zo kana dae uri usha mwari, azingambo kuitire za kafana na nesha honga itirwe na mwari. Hallelujah. Amen. You can 
you know, our parents can do a lot for us. But there will come a time. I learned this from um, the life of eagles. When those who studied about eagles, it goes out to hunt. It finds food for the for the baby chick. And then it brings to the nest. And the baby chick will start to grow. The more the food, the more the growth. And it comes a certain time. The feathers are fully grown. And you know, it's now mature. The mother will start to strip off the sticks around the nest. The nest, it removes all the supporting structures. And comfort is taken away. Why? Say it's time to launch out. As an individual. So, so if that happens to you, you know, no matter how the mother uh, eagle likes and loves the chick, comfort will be removed. And the mother is communicating. You have now a responsibility upon your life. You must fly by yourself. You must go and collect food for yourself. Look at you, look at me. Look at our bodies. We are just alike. There is nothing different. You are grown up. Probably you have, you have a big body more than me. So what, what actually prevents you from going out and search food for yourself? The mother will start to distance itself from the chick. Even the father, because they take uh, duties. When the mother goes out, the father is there, guarding the nest. And the father will start to move away a little bit. It's a signal that you have to follow. Such is life. Circumstances are coming our way in the same manner. You are grown up, my dear. You are grown up, my dear. You should be responsible for your life. How can you launch out if you have no uh, prayer life that brings the power of God to support you? How can you launch out to be independent as, a, as an individual when you are just lax about prayer? Why? Because out there the devil is waiting. 
jobs, when you seek for jobs, oftentimes the, the, the devil is preying on you. They will start to say, without you, uh, without you falling in love with me, I won't give you a job. Without you giving me money, I won't give you this offer. How shall you stand? say, May God help us. Psalm 119, um, verse 9, by God's grace. Psalm 119, verse 9, you can read. Jaya ringaramba rijinata nzira yaro neiko, kana richiri chenjerera, how shall a young man, how shall a young woman cleanse his ways? If you have no strong prayer life, if you have not achieved to the level of Drawing the power from God. How shall you stand? May God help us. So we want to have effective prayer lives. Which when we stand before God. And the situations or circumstances around us. Come. No matter how hard and difficult, God will just bring down an answer from on high. We want effective prayers that go beyond our situations. God has mandated us, has given us a framework, you know, because we are his chosen people he loves us he, he values us he cherishes us he now nourishes us with spiritual nourishment to help us to be sustainable individually individually May God help us. Daniel did not have parents. Neither, neither the three Hebrew boys that we read of. When situations difficult as they were presented themselves, they stood their ground. They stood their ground based on the word of God. So we want to stand upon the word of God. May God help us. You know, this is the solid truth that can take us, that can take us out of our fears. It can take us out of our doubts. It can take us out of our timidity or uncertainties. We are no longer aliens before God. We are no longer aliens. But we are part of the commonwealth of the household of Israel. We are God's chosen people, a royal people, a, 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 a holy nation, a holy priesthood. So we want to stand by prayer. 
We want our prayers to succeed. Drawing power from God to transform us. To transform our surroundings. To transform our circumstances. No matter how you may perceive, no matter your perception about issues surrounding you, God is, God is ready to help you. May God help us. This is an opportunity that we can use to come to God and draw power from God. My brother, how often do you pray? Is prayer a mystery to you? Do you have unanswered prayers? How do you feel about those prayers? Let me tell you, this morning, God is giving you a chance. God is giving you an opportunity to prevail over your circumstances, to have power over your situations. Let's just round, up, round off with Matthew chapter 11. Verse 12. Kubapa mazua a Johani mubapatizi kushikira zino vushe wokudenga uno pambra Vapambi vano utora ne simba. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent shall take it by force. Amen. This is the platform. You want to prevail. God is telling us that you take it by force. You have desires. You have things that you want to come your way. The only method that God has given us is by prayer and supplication. How? Say. Forcefully. The kingdom of God suffered violence. You cannot just be lax in your prayer life. But you have to know that the devil has got, you know, a lot to hinder your prayer life. That's why God says the, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And it's only the violent, the prayer where you say, God, your word says, thus saith the Lord, and I am coming with the word according to your word. You come to God, drawing the power from the promises. Don't just come empty-headed. Your mind must be full, filled with the scriptures. You have ample time to study the scriptures. Come holding the promises. Amen. When you come to the altars, thank God, according to the scriptures, that's how the violent take God's power down upon their lives. It is by force where you reckon the promises and you claim around the promise and God is going to do it upon your life. May God help us. We have an opportunity. 
We know that as youth we have power. You know, out there, when they want to use, the, the, to use wherever we are, they are looking for youth. God is also seeking for the youth. Yes. 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 God is also seeking for the youth. Where, when you come, God is going to endow you with power. When you cry out to God, when you lay out your petitions to God, according to the scriptures, results will come. God is going to answer your prayers. You want to be married? Probably as a young man. Finances, you can get them here. You don't have wisdom, you don't have knowledge, you don't have understanding. You can draw it from here. God is ready to grant you. Because when we read about Daniel, he determined just not to defile himself with the food from the king's table. He determined not to uh, pervert his life. When he did that, God reckoned. God reckoned it. God saw it. God rewarded with wisdom. God rewarded with knowledge. God rewarded with understanding. Beyond what the magicians of those days could understand. Be beyond any other, because he just stood for the word of God. Get this right. Prayer is effective. Prayer draws down the power of God. You can pray an effective prayer today. You can prevail before God today. Your answers, your expectations can come, can be realized when you come to God in faith, believing that God is not man. Whatsoever he has said, he will accomplish it. He will make it to come to pass. Today, the altars are open. May God bless you. We shall close the service. Um, in 35. No, in boots. Panguva yekuteura. Sweet hour of prayer. In 499. In the green in boots.
Jesus, we thank you for your word, oh God. Lord Jesus, we thank you, oh God, for teaching us how to pray, my God. We are praying, Lord Jesus, this morning, oh God. We sing, Lord Jesus, come and answer our prayers, oh God. Teach us to pray, oh God. Lord Jesus, may you please, oh God, forgive us our sins, oh God. May you please sanctify our hearts, my God. May you please fill us with your Holy Spirit, my God. Lord Jesus, we know, God, that you are able to do it, oh God. Come and meet us, oh God, Lord Jesus. Come and have mercy on us, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you.